Ever since the emergence of a solid DC Cinema Universe, there have been rumors of the Green Lantern making a comeback. The character has also been a fan favorite for years, so it's understandable why it's in the news now and then. The Lanterns even made a cameo in the Justice League, but it was just that, a cameo. In today's video, we'll take a look at James Gunn, possibly teasing a new Green Lantern DCU debut. First off, let's take a look at how James Gunn teased Green Lantern's debut. In a piece of news that took over the internet, James Gunn, along with Peter Safran, was named co-chairman and co-CEO for DC over a month ago. As Gunn made an exit from Marvel and the Guardians franchise, fans were eager to know what his plans would be for the future of a drowning DCU. And in a way, he teased one of his plans for the future of this cinematic universe. It actually started when Gunn shared a picture on Twitter, showing some of the biggest DC heroes celebrating Thanksgiving on the 24th of November. This prompted a reply from a Twitter user saying that since the picture didn't show Green Lantern, this means that Gunn and Safran have no intention of adding him to the DCU. He further went on to say that he's 100% confident in this scoop. Unexpectedly, Gunn soon responded to this tweet, and in very clear words, he actually denied the user's claim, saying that it wasn't actually a good scoop while also wishing them a happy Thanksgiving. While this user was publicly humiliated by his own words, on the other hand, we got a pretty good hint at what the future of DCU might look like. And we're probably seeing a Green Lantern, if not a bunch of them. Moving on, can we actually hope for a Green Lantern debut, or is it all just talk? Being one of the founding members of the Justice League, it's a shame the Green Lantern has not even made a debut in the DC, leave having a bigger part aside. Sure, they've indeed made appearances in the Justice League, but what was that? It was nothing but an attempt to set up Darkseid, actually. The characters had no proper storyline or mention anywhere in the interconnected universe. But the good news for us, Gunn seems to be planning on changing this unfair treatment of the character. In fact, with the amount of saturation of stories in DCU, Green Lantern and the Green Lantern Corps are a perfect way to insert a new narrative into the storyline, especially when not much has been working for the studio. Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart are actually perfect Green Lanterns that can be utilized in an exciting way, but that's just the start. We've got many others as well, only if the studio could give it a thought for once. But again, the question remains, will the super hero get a movie of his own, have a show, or just continue to have small cameos going forward? One thing is for certain though, if Gunn and Safran are looking to change the DCU's image, the Lanterns can play a huge role in doing that, and it's only fair that they get their part on the screen. We mean, it's been years since the last Green Lantern movie that featured Ryan Reynolds. Sure, it was a disaster, but can we let it go now? Finally, how sure are we to see our green hero on the screens? For starters, there's no denying the fact that Green Lantern is extremely important at the core of DC. The studio actually understands this. The only problem is that we don't know to what extent they understand this. Do they think the character is worth a spot, similar to Aquaman and The Flash, or just someone who's only worth the TV show. Warner Bros. has actually been working on a Green Lantern Corps show. The show was actually focused on Alan Scott and Guy Gardner before the former president of DC Films, Walter Hamada, jumped ship. Ever since then, reports have been coming in that the show would now focus on Jon Stewart, although it's also being reported that Gunn or Safran haven't made this decision. The change is very significant, especially when you think of monetary cost which have been reduced to $120 million after the switch, in an attempt to cut down costs for the studio. So to answer our own question, yes. We're probably going to see Green Lantern sooner or later. It's just that we don't know if it'll be in the form of a breathtaking performance in the cinema or a mediocre CW TV show kind of a thing. Moving on to some actors who should play the Green Lantern. First up at number five, we've got Bradley Cooper. 
Cooper is known for many roles. Some of these include him as Phil in the Hangover series, playing Seal Sniper in American Sniper, as well as starring alongside Lady Gaga in the latest remake of A Star is Born. But what he hasn't been known for is playing a superhero, at least if you don't consider Rocket Raccoon from the MCU to be one. One Reddit user named Cora Garen Rattlesnake also said how he always saw Bradley Cooper as a good Hal Jordan. And now that we look at him, sure, we could actually watch him play the role. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing worse than Reynolds' version is possible, and we sat through that one. Cooper is one of the biggest names in Hollywood, and the fact that he's played a wide range of characters makes him a pretty good match for the role. He's got his humor from the Hangover movies, his traumas from American Sniper, and his love and emotions from A Star is Born. All the ingredients to play a modern-day superhero. So, yeah, Cooper? Sure, why not? Moving on to number four, it's Jason Sudeikis. Sudeikis is one of the greatest comedic actors of today, and he's shown that time and time again. His performances in movies such as We're the Millers and Horrible Bosses are nothing short of perfect. So if you're looking for a goofy yet mature Hal Jordan, Sudeikis, my man, is the guy for the role. But that's not all. Sudeikis too has range on him. He's shown this clearly in the Apple TV Plus series Ted Lasso. And now that we've seen both sides of him, we can easily vouch for him to play Hal Jordan, even if for a short while. Following up, we've got Chris Pine at the number three spot. Chris Pine is no stranger to being in superhero movies. He's been the protagonist in Star Trek's latest reboot. And more recently, he's appeared as Wonder Woman's love interest in the superhero's titular movies. So yeah, it might not be possible now for him to play the Green Lantern, who's also from the same comic universe, but we can always hope for the best, right? Also, if the past gives us any lesson, it's that Josh Brolin played both Thanos and Cable, two different villains in the same universe. So if Marvel can do it, why not DCU? In addition to that, some fans think that Pine's death as Steve Trevor in the first Wonder Woman film could actually lead to his resurrection as a Green Lantern. You know what? That's a pretty great idea. Pine for Hal Jordan. Next up, let's take a look at Ryan Gosling as Green Lantern on number two. If one Ryan has played the role, we also want the other Ryan to do it as well. All jokes aside, Ryan Gosling has quite a fan base. His most notable works include The Notebook, La La Land, and Blade Runner 2040 to name a few. He hasn't yet taken any superhero role, but given the amount of sci-fi and action films that he's done, we can say it with certainty that he won't disappoint as a Green Lantern. Besides, he has a pretty soft side as well, so it wouldn't be hard for him to show a bit of emotion that comes with being the superhero. Rumors have popped up time and time again about him joining either of the two cinematic universes, but he's yet to join either. In the meantime, he's prepping up to be become the Ken doll for the Barbie movie, so we'll have to see if we will stand with our opinion of Gosling as a lantern after that movie comes out. Last but not least, it's John Krasinski at number one. Most people know Krasinski as Jim Halpert from The Office. He is the guy that's pulling the pranks on Dwight every other day. And while Krasinski is one funny guy, he's proven with his performances in movies such as A Quiet Place that he's capable of not just making you laugh but also Cry Rivers. Krasinski was also recently fan cast as Reed Richards in the MCU's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Although it sent waves of excitement throughout cinemas around the world, his role was nothing more than a cameo. And rest in peace, Mr. Spaghetti. Oh, we mean Mr. Fantastic. Given how actors have previously jumped universes to settle for a different role, it wouldn't be difficult to cast him as Green Lantern. Of course, if the studio and actors agree. That's a wrap for this video. How hopeful are you regarding the Green Lantern's debut? And who do you think would play the role most convincingly? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.